Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you how I make my delicious Mississippi style pot roast. When I tell you absolutely delicious, it's definitely holiday worthy as well. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First one up is our beautiful chuck pot roast. This bad boy right here is about three pounds. Of course, if you're going to be feeding a large amount of people, make sure to grab yourself anywhere from six pounds or more. And we also have some yellow sliced onions along with our pepperoncini peppers, some pepperoncini juice. We also have garlic. This is minced garlic. However, if you want to use finely chopped garlic, you can use that as well, along with salted butter. If you want to sub with unsalted butter, you can use that as well. We also have some beef broth, a Jew gravy mix, and a ranch seasoning mix. And last but not least, we have some avocado oil. Now, because we're going to be using our Dutch oven today, we are going to add some oil to this Dutch oven. Make sure that you're using an oil with a high smoke point. As you can see, our pan has come up to temperature. It is smoking hot. So we are going to add our meat. Make sure to lay that meat flat down into the pan. It's really important when you're searing anything, make sure the meat is dry. Take a paper towel and pat it dry for reassurance. And once you place it into that pan, make sure it's nice and hot. If not, you're not going to get the perfect sear. Another helpful key tip when it comes to searing your meat, when you first place it down into the pan, the meat is going to be stuck to the pan. You're not going to be able to flip it on over and move it around and stuff. However, once the searing process is completed, the meat is going to release itself from the pan and you're going to be able to go in there and literally flip that meat on over with no problem whatsoever. Once we're done, we're going to flip it on over, allow it to sear on the other side as well. And guess what? We're not done searing yet because I want my gravy to have a nice, rich, deep chocolatey brown color so we're going to sear it on all sides what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the meat i'm going to place it to stand up in the pot and i'm going to allow it to sear on the sides as well so in total we're going to be searing four sides looking good so far we have that nice caramelization going on once we're done we're going to remove the meat place it onto a plate and reserve it for later because this is not a fatty cut of meat we're going to be adding a little bit more oil to our pan Add just enough and we are going to introduce these onions to this nice hot skillet. It seems like the pan is somewhat burnt, but I can guarantee you it's not. That's all of the contributing flavor that we're going to be using to make our delicious Mississippi style pot roast. Give it a good toss, stir it on up, allow those onions to separate. And this part right here should take about two minutes. As the onions start to break down and release all of its natural juices, it's going to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Once we're finished, we are going to introduce our garlic to the pan, mix it all up, allow all of those aromatics to be released from the garlic, combine it really good. And if you take a close look, the bottom of the pan is pretty much deglazed and our onions has that nice caramelization going on. Mm. At this time, we are going to add our beef broth. For those of us who don't have beef stock on hand, no worries whatsoever. You're going to combine some beef bouillon powder along with some water. As long as you don't add too much beef bouillon to make it too salty, you should be good to go. Next on up, we are going to add our packet of a Jew gravy. Followed by our packet of ranch seasoning mix. Give it a good stir. Don't forget to add the pepperoncini juice as well. Mix it up once again. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, these are some weird combination of ingredients, but I can guarantee you this might be the best pot roast that you've ever tasted. We're going to add our meat back to the pan along with our pepperoncini peppers. Add a good amount of butter. Cover it on down and place it into your 425 degree Fahrenheit oven. When it comes to the cooking time, you are going to allow it to cook for about, let's say, one and a half to two hours or until the meat is nice and tender. Cook the meat until it's fork tender to the point where you can look at the meat and it literally breaks apart. 
if you're going to be cooking this recipe for the holidays and you're going to be using a larger slab of beef let's say maybe six pounds seven pounds so on and so forth obviously you're going to add more liquid also it's really important after the first hour to check to see whether or not if you have enough liquid in the pot check the tenderness of the meat if the meat is not tender enough but your liquid has reduced and you don't have much liquid add more liquid whether it be beef broth or water cover it on down allow it to cook some more and you should be good to go this recipe is not only limited to using a dutch pot feel free to use a crock pot dutch oven oven safe pot or even a slow cooker if you're going to be using a slow cooker it's so easy so simple you're going to sear your meat in a regular pan once you're done you're going to add all of your ingredients to a slow cooker put it on low and allow it to do its thing for about eight hours and yes that's pretty much it i'm going to be serving our delicious mississippi pot roast with a delicious bed of mashed potatoes how did I make the potatoes? I grabbed some yellow potatoes, cut it in cubes, added it to some hot water. Once I was done, strain the water off. You're going to add a pinch of salt along with some butter, heavy cream, cream cheese, mash it on up, and boom, you are good to go. Serve it with your Mississippi style pot roast and that's it guys as always i'm your girl cooking with tammy and i will definitely catch you guys in another video talk to you later bye guys